didn't actually record or take pictures or anything thus far of getting the bus and the trip there and stuff. But I am currently on the way back. I am, I want to say, just over halfway home. About a six and a half hour drive one way. Um, so far, my impressions on the bus. When I first got it, it was a little rough because it's been sitting for quite a while. So it ran a little rough, which I was like, okay, that's fine. It's running. It's running decent enough. I'm going to drive it home. Um, I even called the gentleman from the auction place that I bought it from. And he was like, he was like, yeah, it's been sitting for a while. I changed out the battery. He was like, but I he was like, I promise it's a great bus. It's solid. And like, there's nothing wrong with it. He's like, it's just been sitting for a while. And like, when they, when diesel engines sit, they run a little rough at first. And it just like slowly starts to clean up, clear up and stuff like that. Which it did. It started clearing up and stuff. I bought a, a cleaner, a fuel system cleaner, Seafoam, I think it's called. I'm almost positive that's what I bought. Something like that. I bought that and I put it in the tank. I, I currently put just over $200 in fuel. And I just stopped again, got some food and filled up. But I'm, I'm enjoying driving it. You know, I'm finding little things that are like cool that I didn't even know were there. Like this like seat thing. It just like makes the seat bounce a little bit when you hit a bump instead of you being uncomfortable. Um, the heat, I didn't know how to turn on until an hour and 25 minutes through the drive. Um, yeah. It's kind of, I'm enjoying it. I'm really happy. I'm happy I did this. It was scary at first, you know? Especially driving six and a half hours for a bus that you have no idea if it's in good condition or not. But I enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably see you guys in a bit, right? great all right so guys yesterday um, the only thing that you really missed from the clips of me while driving which you don't do bad edit it don't do it um, the only thing you missed really is the bus started running really rough and I had to pull off and wait in to wait at a rest stop um, and then I waited at the rest stop for about a half hour. I was trying to check the coolant, but there's obviously pressure in the coolant lines, which you don't do, you don't open it. I loosened it a little bit, so it started hissing to relieve the pressure, so I couldn't check it to make sure that there was coolant inside. Um, when I did that, I never tightened it, and then I lost the coolant cap, which I think you can see right there. Yeah, I lost the cooling cap. No bueno. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be going around showing you um, all the imperfections, the things that I'm gonna be doing at some point, obviously. I mean, if you know this kind of thing, then you know that you take out the seats, take out the floor, blah, 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 blah. But I'm gonna walk you through it anyway. I have a wheelchair lift in my, in my bus. So that's gonna be coming out. I'm gonna hopefully try and sell that to make some money back to put back into the bus. Um, all the chairs, all of those, all of those. Stop focusing on my hand, please, thank you. Um, those are gonna be coming out. Um, the flooring is going to be coming out. I don't know what the heck that is, to be honest. But I found some lunch money in the seats when I pulled them. I found a dollar, I'm rich. Um, I'm going to be also showing you imperfections. We have the AC unit, which is great because a lot of buses don't come with AC units. So I'm happy that this one did. This will be very beneficial in the future, assuming that it works. <laughs> if not, I can always just tear it out. It's not the big, biggest deal. That needs to be clean. Holy heck. That is the filter for the AC unit. Um, the flooring, we're obviously going to take out. The flooring has, like, bumps in it, but it's only where this is, where these tracks are. And this is probably the worst part, so I don't know what's under there. It could be rust. If it is rust, I could always patch the floor, so it's not the biggest deal. Um, we will see. I'm probably going to be pulling it up today. I start pulling it up today, at least, but that won't be in this video. <laughs> um... 
Let's go outside and I'll show you all the imperfections. Um, this door. This door has quite a bit of rust towards the bottom of it. So I'm going to be either repairing it. I don't know exactly if I'm removing this door or if I'm keeping this door or what am I what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna kind of figure it out as I go. That's rust. I could be patched, I could patch that or fix it or whatever it may be. Um, there's nothing major along the sides that I can see. That's, that seems pretty solid right there. Um, there's a little bit of bubbling right here. I just noticed I didn't see that. There is a little bit of rust over here, which is not the biggest of deals for me, specifically. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be taking out all these windows to fix all of this, all the caulking and stuff on the video, the caulking. <laughs> um, yeah. I just noticed this time. I didn't notice that until just now. I don't know what the heck that thing's for. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna add some like decorations, some mistletoe right there by the window. It is December, right? The, currently. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Oh. So, uh, the, one of the mirrors goes there. It is actually like that. It's currently in the bus. When I was driving, it, I noticed it kind of like wobbling while I was driving. So I stopped at a rest stop. Like, I want to say like 10 or 15 minutes after I noticed the wobbling and pulled it off completely. <coughs> um, engine wise, everything seems great besides the running funky, which I think just is a tune up, to be honest, because other than that, the engine is completely sound. Um, I haven't looked totally into it, but I ordered a lot of stuff for tune up already. I ordered it last night while I was just inside trying to brainstorm. It could be one of these boots is broken. I don't think so, but it's cool. anything is possible. So the only type of leaking I see is from this joint right here, but that just needs to be greased because these have, I believe, a grease fitting in here somewhere, probably where all that gunk is, and you grease it, and that's what all that usually is. Um, all the fluids looked completely okay. Like oil was like changed and everything. There's a brand new alternator on the bus, which is freaking great. So that means I won't have to do anything like that soon. It's a remanufactured alternator, obviously. Uh, a brand new OEM. Um, I already told you about the coolant cap that I lost. I don't know if it's hidden in here somewhere from falling or if it's gone forever. It most likely is gone forever. I have a new filter for the air. It's the air filter. Um, yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's that rust too. I don't know if you can see that. There's that rust also. <coughs> and yeah, the tires, tire wise, the tires are all basically brand new. I don't know if you can see that. These tires are freaking brand new right here. And then the back, they have quite a bit of tread on them, which is freaking great. Can you focus, my dude? I don't know if you can see. I'm hoping you can see. And then here's under the bus. Oh, let me lay down real quick so I can properly show you anything. Um, this is a uh, diesel from spilling, probably when filling. Um, there's rust on the frame, but it's just surface rust. I don't see anything like corrosion or anything really, 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 really bad. So that's great. I'll probably go on the other side and show you better. Um, here it is. This is, I'm, I don't even know what this is, honestly. I think this is for the AC in the back. The radiator, outer radiator for the AC. It has fans behind it, which is freaking awesome, by the way. This is the air tank, I believe. Yes, this is the compressed air tank. That's what that is. It is a hydraulic brake bus. It is not an air brake bus. So this is used for like the driver's seat and I think the suspension also, yes, because it has airbags. So that's the bus. 
Obviously the hood's open. But it's a decent sized bus. It's not a full size bus. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there's a block heater too in it, if you know what that is. Um, yeah. So it is nice showing you guys. I have stuff all over my hand. So I guess I'll just uh, go clean that up and then get working on it. And then you'll probably see that in the next video. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.